Hey, it's time to have breakfast with Dee. That's me. I am going to read you along when I make my French toast in a bunt. If you don't know by now, I am obsessed with this little dash bunt maker. It's a little mini bunt cake. What's it called? It's called a mini bunt maker. That's what it's called. I got mine at Target for 15 and change. So I'm going to show you how I make French toast. Now, I used to make French toast in a mug, the hungry girl thing, but I was getting kind of sick of it. I don't know, just the texture just kind of made me. Last time I made it, I was like, I'm just not enjoying this. So I haven't made it for a while. But I thought the other day, what if I put it in a mini bunt? It was life changing. Totally changed it up. It's like a French toast bake. So I thought, let me, I'm only gonna make a half recipe today with one piece of bread and one egg. Normally it's two, but this is just a little quick little tutorial. So I don't really have that many points. So I'll talk about that. So let's get started making this mini bunt French toast. This is actually gonna be a pumpkin. If you don't want pumpkin, just leave the pumpkin out. You don't need to add it. That's the only really big difference. And the spices that I use, you could just change up the spices. Remember, this is your bunt, your French toast. You make it how you like it. All right, my mini dash is heating up. It's ready. So in my bowl, I have one egg. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Okay. I put my one tablespoon of milk of your choice. I always use cashew or almond. You can actually even use 1%. It really wouldn't affect the ones that I know of. And I'm going to put some pumpkin. I'm not going to measure it because it's zero. I'm just going to grab like a... What I think looks like a tablespoon, give or take. Okay, Get that all mixed. Okay, and here I have my monk fruit sweetener, my pumpkin pie spice, my cinnamon, my salt, and I think I put a little bit of baking powder. Just you never know. Again, measurements are up to you. What you would put. Don't always think that you have to do what D does. Let's move to spatula. Get this all mixed. I have my one slice of bread already cubed. Again, you use bread of your choice. You count the points for it. I always use six or seven for one point. Because this, my friends, is zero on the blue plan and the purple plan. So you're only paying for the bread. And it feels like I'm going to have too much liquid in I'm only making one slice, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Get your little pieces of bread into the pool. Get them all coated with your mixture. Anybody extract, if you would like to, please go ahead. I didn't really want any, honestly. Get that bread, some dry pieces. All right, now normally you would put this in your mug and microwave it, but we're going to put ours into our mini dash. Let me get it up here. Of course, not that hot. Ooh, it's hot. It has a little insert to help you lift it out, which is kind of fun. All right, I need my spray. I mean, you don't have to spray it, but you know, I like to spray everything because you just never know. And I'm going to put all of this in here. I'm hoping it all fits. If it's not too much because it's half the recipe that should all should all not be too much of course when i put on the counter we don't okay let's give it a little judge around Close your lid. It should be in here for about six to eight minutes, give or take. You can definitely, after a while, lift it up and check it. I'm gonna go set my timer. We're gonna come back. We're going to unbunt our bunt and we're going to see how beautiful it looks. Okay, it was been in here for about five to six minutes. Keep an eye on it. Everybody's bakes differently, so I don't want you to just go by what I say. So you do, you lift your handles, you just pull them up. <laughs> just pull them up, Dave, there it is. And there you have your little bunch. You just flip it over, put this back, close it. I like to flip it over. 
And there you have it. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, one smart point. Holy, I know, say it. Holy crap, D. I know. Little syrup on there. Have it with some eggs and some, you know, sausage or Canadian bacon or bacon, whatever you like. This is your pumpkin French toast bunt. And let me tell you something. It's way better than anyone you put in the microwave. And it's one and done. You know me, I'm all about making one and that's it. And number two as well, when you make a whole tray of it, sometimes it dries out. This is always fresh and delicious. Ready to go. I mean, food preppers, you could prep these ahead of time. I I wouldn't, but you could. Because I don't like my food reheated all the time. Because it definitely would, you know. And if you make two, I would pop this in the toaster. If you like double it. And then put, keep this toast in the like in, in the warmer your oven to keep it warm and delicious while you make the other one. But yeah, if you have two of these, you are so set for the day. And look how it puffed up. <laughs> I mean, come on. Guess what? You're going to get a bonus because I decided to make a breakfast bunt kind of thing. Because I didn't really want French toast, I just had this. So I wanted like an egg and potato. Well, I thought, why not bring it to you? So I'm going to take a couple pictures of this. We're going to come back and we're going to get started on our breakfast bunt. How you like it? All right. Next, we're going to try a little thing. I don't know if this is going to work because I've never done it. So in my bowl, I'm going to crack an egg, which I don't know where I put this. I know I brought it over. Crack one egg. Oh, yeah, not the show, Denise. No one that. And I'm going to put some liquid egg whites. Now, again, you put in as much as you like. I'm just going to put like there. A little over, maybe a third of a cup. And some couple tablespoons of creamy cashew milk. A couple of tablespoons of that. A couple tablespoons of cottage cheese because... I mean, I'm just trying to make this sucker creamy without adding points. And two tablespoons of fat-free cottage cheese is zero points. But there's some bell peppers in there. Well, let's mix it up first. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go. We got our egg. We got our egg white. We got our cottage cheese. And we got our cashew milk. Remember. All the written recipes are on my recipe blog because sometimes, like now, I'm just creating this from nowhere. So sometimes I change my mind. So be aware of that. <laughs> I'm going to put in three slices of Canadian bacon. You could put in sausage if you wanted. Bacon, regular bacon if you wanted. Meatless crumbles if you wanted. Again, whatever you have around. This is what I had to have around. I have a lot of Canadian bacon in my house right now. Don't ask why. It's a really funny story. I'm going to put in some bell peppers. Again, you could cook these prior if you wanted. I don't mind them raw. They'll cook in here, but I'll put the whole little. So it's one of those little mini, bell, little mini bell peppers. And of course, you know, I'm going to put some onion because oh, it's Saturday. I don't have to go to work. So yeah, I'm going to put in a good tablespoon of onion. And I have measured out here 85 grams of shredded hash browns. That is a serving, that is two points. If this was purple, it would be zero. So yeah, this would be a great purple, purple meal. Okay. This is gonna probably make a several bunts as I can tell. Where's my little, I'll just grab this spatula. And I have a slice of bread here if I think I need it, just to, you know, I wanna make it a little bit more substantial. I mean, not the potatoes and eggs aren't, but this is like a, one and done breakfast thing. You need to season. That's where I forgot the seasoning. So let me go grab some. Again, you season what you like. I'm doing some tree, you know, some flavor gods, everything. I'm doing some fresh ground pepper. Some of this, I'm really obsessed with this Trader Joe's. What is it called? Everyday seasoning. Oh, it's just got a little bit of everything. I will show you the label, I think. There, this has the ingredients, so you can see them. Again, but you put in what you like. 
because this is your breakfast, not mine. And of course, I am obsessed with the Wicked Pepper. There's, it's several different peppers in here. I just, I don't know, I just love it. It's the red and the white, oh, so good. And did I grab the garlic? No, I want the garlic too. I am obsessed with this. I got at Sam's Club, the buttery garlic and herb. Oh my God. I mean, and if you had some fresh basil, tomato would be good in here. I'm just not feeling tomato today, but definitely um, some tomato in here would be amazing. But again, whatever you have around spinach, feta, mushrooms, uh, whatever you have, like I said, you know, to me, this is a little bit wet. So I'm gonna, I have a slice of six, four, seven bread. I'm just going to tear it and just drop it in. It's only gonna add a point. So I'm really not too terribly upset with that because I'm gonna probably make more than I need to eat. Even though this is, whole thing is pretty low in point, but sometimes it's just a lot. So we'll see up most of the, that's three quarters of the slice. I'll put all of it in. What the heck? You know, what the heck? I can always add more egg whites if I think it's too dry. Let's put the rest of the onion in there too, because yeah, because he likes a lot of onion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, if you don't think it's more, with a little rest of the milk. It's probably another tablespoon of milk. That's three tablespoons of milk. That helped. We've got a lot going on here. This is going to make several bunts. Several. Now, if you had like a regular mini loaf pan, you could definitely throw this in there and throw it in your oven and bake it. I really wouldn't know how long because I've never made this before. I'm actually going to throw a little bit more egg whites in there. Since I have this carton and there are zero points, I'm going to throw another glug of egg whites. So, you judge when you make it how much you want. Do you want to put just eggs in there? Yeah, you absolutely can do that as well. I'm just trying to just keep it a little bit more on the cleaner side or lighter side. And I think egg whites do that. Oh, this smells so good. Look how good this is. This is a lot. I'm going to be making buns for most of the day. So we open our bun pan. You can see that. I'll move it down a little bit. There you go. And we're going to spray it. And I like to use my tablespoon. Just easier to get my ingredients in there. Let's see, it's gonna be like two, I have to be able to count too. Three, four, it's got four tablespoons fit in here, a no, little bit extra, a little bit extra. Four heaping tablespoons fits in here really nice. We're gonna cover our lid. I have no idea how long this is gonna cook. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna leave it at least five minutes. We're gonna come back and we're gonna check on it. Thank you for joining me on the Let's bake with the bunch, shall we? But look at this. I mean, look at that. Do you see the layers and the hanging bacon? I mean, potatoes, bread, milk, cottage cheese, peppers, onions. Like I said, tomatoes will be good in there if you like that. Totally doable. So thank you for joining me again. I know it was a little bit of a, it's more than I wanted. So definitely we could tailor this down to just to one. And I will definitely, maybe in the recipe blog, I'll put it for both. You know, I'll put it the way I made it today and then I'll put it for, if you wanna do just one, it's gonna be hard to figure out, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best. And remember, if you have a little bit extra, that's why they're making a little, little mini one. Don't let it go to waste. But if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't bought your mini dash, bunt, run out and grab one. The dash website doesn't have them in stock, but I got mine at Target. And I know some people have gotten theirs at Home, not Home Goods, I keep saying Home Goods, um, TJ Maxx and Kohl's. You have Kohl's cash? Check it out. All right, I will, we will dish. This might be an, a weekly thing. I'm, I've been doing um snacks and lunches so i thought why not throw some breakfast foods in there because i know a lot of people ask for help with breakfast so it's like you know dinner at tiffany's breakfast at d's have a great rest of your day we will dish another day